The original price of a bike is $6. What is the sale price? Okay, so we could multiply by 0.5 our decimal version of 50%, or we could set up a percent proportion, but in this case, 50% is exactly half, right? 50 out of 100 is half. So an even easier way to do that is to say, well, what is half of six, or six divided by two? Well, half of six is $3. So when we take 50% off, we're gonna save $3. Okay, well, if the original price was $6 and we're going to save $3, we're going to subtract our savings, and that means we're going to pay $3. The original price of a bike is $15. What is the sale price? Okay, and we can say our coupon is to save 20% off the original price. Okay, well 20%, let's do this as our percent proportion again. So what is 20% of $15? Well, we don't know how many dollars we're saving out of a total of $15, right? That's what we're trying to figure out. And, but we do know that it's equal to 20%, which is 20 out of 100. Okay, let's cross multiply. X times 100 gives us 100X. And 15 times 20, well 15 times two is 30, and then we would put the one more zero on there. So that would be 300. Okay, let's divide by 100 on both sides. And 300 divided by 100 gives us three. Okay, so that means we're saving $3 with the 20% off coupon. So we still need to figure out what is the sale price. Well, if the original price is $15 and we're saving $3, we're gonna subtract our savings, right, minus $3 to figure out how much we would pay. And 15 minus three is 12. So we would pay a sale price of $12. The original price of a bike is $8. What is the sale price? Okay, well, we know we're going to be saving 75% off. So how many dollars is that? Okay, well, how many dollars are we saving out of a total of eight? if we know it's gonna be equal to 75% or 75 over 100. Okay, let's cross multiply. 100 times X gives me 100X. Eight times 75 is 600. So 100X is equal to 600. And then we're gonna divide by 100 on both sides. And 600 divided by 100 gives me six. So that means we're gonna save $6 with our 75% off coupon. But we still need to know what is the sale price. Well, if the original price was $8, and we're saving $6, we're gonna subtract $6, and that means that we're paying $2.